Well, hello everybody, the History Guy here, and uh, we did a poll question over on Patreon, and uh, things were pretty evenly divided between two choices for the games that people wanted to see next. One was Civilization VI, The Gathering Storm, the other one is Aggressor's Ancient uh, Empire of Rome. Uh, I'm going to play both of those two. going to start with Civilization VI while I continue to work on getting better at uh, Aggressor's. So, I uh, have not played with all of the new updates to Civilization VI. I'm a longtime player of Civilization, all the way back to Civilization I, which came out before some of you were even born. Uh, so, this has been one of my all-time favorite games. I've played every single one of them as they've come out. And uh, so, I'm diving into this one today, having not ever played uh, Gathering Storm. But I've decided to go with the Scottish Empire under Robert the Bruce. Now, the first thing I love about this game is that all of the narration is done by none other than Sean Bean. At least it sure sounds like Sean Bean. I didn't look it up to make sure it was him, but it can't be anybody else. It's got to be him. So we're going to listen anytime he talks because I just love anything with Sean Bean in it. So we're going to be uh, the Scottish Empire today uh, as Robert the Bruce, and you can see kind of what they have available to them. I'm not going to talk through all of that. I'm going to operate under the assumption that at the least most of you are at least somewhat familiar with Civilization. Now, I have not played for a couple of years, but I have played plenty, so I'm going to kind of go off my instincts on what has always worked for me. But what I love about the newest uh, updated version of this game is how everything is named, like the rivers, the continents, even the volcano that we have right here, Arthur's Seat, which is a volcano right on the River Spey, and its appeal is breathtaking. And apparently we are in the con continent of Antarctica, so um, we're going to kind of stay away from the volcano as best we can uh, for our first settlement. So we're going to go ahead and get that started here. And Sterling is our first settlement. Uh, I'm not going to change any of the names. I'm just going to keep them with what they are. And we're going to go ahead and move our warriors over into this area as well. we got to choose our first research, which, you know what? I'm near a mountain. I'm thinking maybe mining is the way to go, but... Um, couple of different options here yeah you know what let's go with mining now we got to choose our production and of course scout is always a good way to go to start out in the game so you can get that scout out there discovering things making friends with new uh, folks who are out there and I've gone with a standard size map and all of kind of the standard rules I haven't customized anything uh, I think we'll just kind of fortify our warrior for now and we'll kind of fly our way through these initial turns as quickly as possible. Uh, the volcano became active, but it looks like it's gone away now. I think I'm far enough away to where I think you only get damaged by the volcano if it erupts and you're like in this one next to it, unless you're on like a higher difficulty. So I think we're okay for now. We're just going to kind of fly through these initial turns. Not a lot happening. Oh, look at that. We've already got some barbarian... Uh, squad nearby, kind of exploring the area around us. Alright, there's our scout. We're going to get him going. There should be like a, I think an automatic exploration command for him. Uh, maybe not. I thought they had that to where you could just automatically do that, but perhaps not. We're going to build a monument next because if you build a settler right off the bat, it kind of kills your city's ability to grow. So I'm going to hold off on that first settler for now. Yeah, I thought I already gave you orders, sir. That's my warrior. We fortify him. So let's get our scout exploring. Yes, thank you, advisor. Go see what's out there in the world. Early game's pretty slow just because there's not a lot happening until you get those first couple of cities going. Looks like there's not a lot over in that direction. We've met a new city state. He deserves more credit than the All wife right. of a coal miner. We've also, um, let's see, city-state meeting bonus, there's Nazca. Interesting. You can see the Nazca lines. That's kind of awesome. Uh, the Nazca lines are down in South America, and uh, that's really awesome that they have that next to them. New city-state quest. What do we need to do here? Um, trigger an inspiration for foreign trade. Okay, cool. So we'll do that once we have the ability to do that. So I want to look at the technology tree for just a second here. 
and see kind of what our examples are. I really want to get writing. I like uh, irrigation as well. So uh, I think we're going to work our way toward irrigation, which means pottery first and then irrigation after that. So that's where we'll go for now. Oh, it looks like we've discovered a new civilization as well. Unless those are barbarians. That might be barbarians. Oh, stay away from those guys. Okay, let's go exploring in this direction. The River D. Okay, cool. So like I said, not a lot happening early on. We're about to get our first um, civics ability here in just another turn or so. It is not wisdom, Code of laws. but authority that makes a law. Oh, I love listening to Sean Bean talk. That's awesome. I have kind of a man crush on him. I can admit that. Um, okay. So we can choose a military policy, double experience for recon units, unit uh, combat straight when fighting by barbarians. We're going to go with that. And, uh, hmm. All right, plus one faith and plus one gold in the capital. We'll go with that for now. Yes, our policy agenda is set. Now we get to choose a civic uh, craftsmanship or foreign trade. We're going to go foreign trade because that's a mission we have right now is to establish a trade route with Nazca. So we'll make that happen. We're about to produce, and there is uh, our production in the city of Sterling. I think we'll go ahead and go with Settler now so we can get our next city going. It's already, uh, well, it's 34, 40 BC. I think we go every 20 years. No, every 40 years uh, at the start. Of course, it slows way down as the game goes on. Let's keep exploring in this direction here. What do we got going on down here? Looks like there's I a nice resource. I must feel happy in the good potter's hand. All right, we got to choose something. Oh no, we already we're automatically going to irrigation. That's right. All right, what happened here? Tribal village discovered. All right, cool. Hello, tribal village people. Choose pantheon. Okay, cool. We get to choose a religion because we started developing faith. Uh, so, well, not really a religion just yet, but just a pantheon belief. Uh, so, man, decisions, decisions. I forgot about all of this stuff and the different things that they allow for you. Um, wow. City patron goddess? Oh, that sounds kind of cool. We'll go with that. Found this pantheon. Ah, oh, looks like the Ten Commandments. The first prophet has a flash of insight beneath a starry sky and bows in or on bows in thanks, giving to unseen gods. All right, so that's turn 19. And we're working towards a religion right now. Excellent. What's going on here? World's first... Oh, we have the first one. Very cool. We got a civic boost because of it. Okay. So I, uh, I tend to be somebody who does not focus real heavily on military conquest in the game. I prefer scientific advancement and to kind of go that route because pretty much all the other games that I play all have to do with the military. So I like it when I have options that don't include having to conquer everyone. So I'll build enough of a military to be defensive, but I'm not really going to spend a lot of time trying to conquer everybody else. Looks like we found some ice down here. Um, I guess we might be able to walk around it, but you know what? Let's go this way. My unit has earned experience. Promotion available. Excellent. How does one promote? Right, I guess we'll have to wait till next turn. All right, let's promote this unit. It's been a long time since I played, so I don't remember how to do these things. Move to fortify, skip turn, no. Promote. Here we go. Oh, that's a different unit. Now yeah, you can just stay right where you are. Oh, that's my settler. That's why. All right. Is there any decent place? It looks like all the way over here. 
seems to be a recommended settlement location. So we're gonna we're gonna spread out a little bit. It's gonna be kind of far away, but I think that might work out pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and get a builder going so we can start upgrading some of the tiles around me. Another barbarian, gotta be careful there. Oh, hello. Hey, leave my scout alone, guys, come on. All right, let's start heading away from these people. The barbarians have approached the city of Sterling. I'm not too worried about this. I've got defense there, so we should be okay. I just got to keep my settlers away from him. Oh, boy, my poor scout. Well, he fought him off pretty well, but he's in bad, bad shape. Nation lives by Foreign history. trade! Mm-hmm. And we're going to keep producing faith. I kind of like uh, the ability to do that. So choose civic, early empire, craftsmanship, mysticism. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with mysticism. I like that. Yeah, I'm trying to get you out of there, dude. I'm just not sure you're going to survive all of this. Oh boy, stay away from my settlers. A lot of barbarians around. Including right there. I'm not entirely sure why it is that I'm going to send my settlers there. Let's go right here. We have to wait till next turn to build the city. And then I'm going to spend some of my money. I think I have enough gold that I can probably um, just buy a warrior. So I've got one there for defense as I get that city off the ground. All right, somebody's attacking those barbarians. Yeah, okay. So let's build right there. Dundee. All right. Can we purchase a warrior? No. Well, we've got enough for a slinger. Hmm. You know what? That might do the trick. Or we can wait a couple. Well, wait one more turn. We can get a warrior. I think I'll do that. Now we're not going to build a warrior. Let's build a monument. Get that city going. I'm going to fortify this scout until he's healed after we promote him. Ranger. Hey, and that gave him some health, actually. All right, we've got our <coughs> worker here. Um... After we go ahead and fortify our scout until healed, we've got our builder. Let's start with a farm right here. Excellent. Choose production, granary. Always go with the simplest and usually the recommended if possible. All right, builder's going to move out here now, do the same thing, build another Thousands farm. Have lived hey, love. irrigation. Not one without water. Thank you, Sean Bean. Now, let's go ahead and back to the technology tree. You know, I guess we'll go with animal husbandry. That's right there. We're on turn 29 already. Yep, cool. All right, what else can our builder do? Yeah, citrus is a luxury resource now available. We can build a plantation over here. That's kind of awesome. All right, our scout's ready to go again. Let's send him up this way. Builder, plantation, thank you. Inspiration, with the land around our first city developing nicely, we can fine tune our production techniques. All right, cool. Gonna probably get this builder over to Dundee and get some work done on them as well so we can start getting that city going a little better. Obviously Sterling being our capital like is gonna I be expected to grow. Mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. 
Wow, they quoted Rob Bell in Civilization. He has definitely made the big time now. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, who? Uh, wow. Okay, I don't have the ability to do uh, the inspiration points yet, so we'll have to wait on that. We've got to choose a new civic. Early Empire it is. Okay, we can send an envoy to a city-state for bonuses. Off to Nazca you go. Yes. We're going to send you there. So we're not going to declare war on them. Oh, we could be a Caesarian of the city-state? That's kind of awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, confirm placement. Yeah, Nazca. How do I do that? I guess I just... Do it. Come on. There you go. Yes. Okay, so what we do here is we just uh, have to choose to add another one to Nazca. So we're going to do that. And we're on to our next turn. It is now 2720 BC, so we're flying along nicely here at the beginning. Oh, that is not going to end well for you, Barbarian. That's right. So I don't think we did the promotion yet, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that. used to be pretty self-explanatory, but not so much. In oh, I already did the promotion. That's right. Two wonders I have been completed. Pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. Thank you, Sean Bean. All right. So we've got animal husbandry now. We get to choose again. Oh, boy. Archery might be nice. Oh, I want writing because I love to get libraries. It can allow us to build a campus for the first time. We could work on a wonder. Um, hanging gardens would take 18 turns. Yeah, let's do it. Where are we going to build that bad boy? Somewhere that's not going to hurt us too much. Let's build it out in the desert. Can we purchase that land? Yeah. Let's build it in the desert because there's nothing else there, so I'm not going to take up some of my much-needed land to do that. Uh, now, I'm curious to know if there's any other items I can purchase. Not right now. Okay. Pressing on. We're going to need to eventually connect Dundee and Sterling. Here comes another barbarian coming after my scout. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna want to avoid him. Steam hisses from the ground here. Uh, geothermal fissure. Clouds. This eventually may develop technologies for that. All right, cool. So, what are the two that have been completed? The Great Bath and Stonehenge have been completed so far. Hey, hello. I'm Magyarország's king. Ellenségim ostora, az igaz híveknek védelmezője. Üdvözöllek. I don't know for sure if he's speaking Hungarian. I would assume he is. My wife's grandfather is Hungarian, uh, but his parents were both born in Hungary, but they're all gone now, so I can't ask them. Uh, all right, Matthias, the king of Hungary, scourge of my foes and defender of the faithful. Greetings. It is an honor to meet you. I'm going to try to stay on good terms with as many folks as I can. I'll personally lead your delegates on a tour of my capital. All right, we would love to sample your hospitality. Thank you. So I want to look for just a second at the world rankings. Uh, looks like I'm in fourth place in science per turn right now. I'm in eighth place in culture. I'm not producing really a whole lot of culture right now. Sixth place in domination, fourth in religious, and dead last in diplomatic. But it is so early, I'm really not worried about all that right now. So let's take a look. We met a new civilization for the first time. New continent discovered. Okay, cool. So this is no longer part of Antarctica. This is Rodinia, uh, apparently, over there. So I love the whole continent's idea. I love all the naming that's going on, things like that. A lot of fun. You're sending me gifts worthy of a prince. Fine lace, a crossbow emblazoned with your heraldry, and paprikash. My wife loves chicken paprikash. It's a Hungarian meal. We eat it at uh, Christmas every year, so that's pretty cool. She would love that, uh, even though she doesn't really play video games. Uh, your delegation is most welcome. Awesome. So I love kind of that little bit of flavor of Hungarian there. That's cool. Need more housing. Okay. 
So Dundee's having a little trouble with housing. So let's manage our citizens for just a second here and take a look at what's going on. Uh, we could shift, but it looks like right now that's really the best place to be. We could be producing more food over here, but I guess we'll wait until we get another citizen to deal with that. Uh, I've got 206 gold, so it could be that there are some things I can buy. Uh, guess not. Not in sterling. I want to buy this stuff over here. Here we go. So we can get a trader. That actually might be really helpful. And create a trade route, which also creates roads, which are helpful. All right, scout. Let's head over this way. All right, we've got a couple of different options for our trade route that we can produce right now. And uh, we can get three gold per turn if we do it from Nazca plus one faith. I think that's the way to go. So let's do that. Awesome. We're going to build a trade route to Nazca. Barbarians approach. Okay, we've got, we've got defense, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried that he hits my trader, so... Uh, where is my, yeah, we're beginning the route with Nazca. Yes. Thank you. Eureka. All right. Don't get killed. Where's my, oh, we can purchase items with faith too. Okay. Yeah. Nothing right now. All right. We should be able to defend. That trader should be able to get out of there with getting, without getting attacked by the barbarian. He's going the other direction anyway. Oh, he's going to take out my farm. Not okay, dude. Bring it on. All right. So far, so good. Didn't take him out all the way, though. Oh, there's a barbarian in the way on my way to... Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, good. These guys are going to fight each other. Oh, man, that's looking kind of dangerous for my trader right now. Bye-bye. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. <laughs> Interesting. All right, research. We are on to... Uh, got a recommended either astrology or archery. I think we're going to go with astrology for now. All right, Dundee. It's a long time to produce an oracle. I don't know about that. Granary it is. Where's my build? Oh, my builder ran out of... Once they build a couple of things, they're kind of done. So i got to get another builder going. I don't have the money to do that right now, though. All right, we're going to send... We're going to have to send the... Uh, after we heal him up, I'm going to have to send him to help out. I'm really worried my trader is going to get killed. Not sure if that's something they do or not, but I would assume that they can attack traders. Seems like they're going to be nice to him for now. Oh, we got a new city-state quest. The Fez city-state. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there it goes! Mega Colossal Eruption! People flee in terror as py pyroclastic flow lash the slopes of the volcano and jets of smoke pour into the city. Woo! That's gorgeous to look at, though, isn't it? Just glad it's not right next to my city. So it does create really uh, fertile land nearby. That's just kind of the price you pay. But um, So we zero population lost and six tiles gained fertility. All right, looks like our trader is going to make it to Nazca. Let's continue exploring. John Curtin. I speak for the people of Australia as their Prime Minister. We seek sympathetic allies in the fight against the hawks of war. All right. Hello, John Curtin. It's an honor to meet you. Exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. All right, cool. So we have connected with Canberra, the capital of Australia. So now we've met two of the civilizations. I believe there are eight... On a normal size map, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yep, there's eight. 
So we are now in second place in science. We're at fifth in culture, seventh in military. We've dropped a little bit there, moved up a little bit on religious victory, and dead last on diplomatic. So, all right. What are we dealing with here? Oh, yeah, our, uh, we're just going to move our warrior back, get him refortified. Sent a trade delegation to our territories with a small selection of meats contributed by our ranchers. Your delegation is most welcome. All right. I guess we should look at any other options we might have for um, things we could do here. So gossip, no new items, access level, none. Government, they have a chiefdom. We have friendly relationship. Um, cost money to send a delegation. Can we make a deal? How about, I don't know what I'd do with Mercury. Yeah, I guess there's not really anything right now. I'm sure Mercury will come in handy for something at some point, but not right now, it isn't. Done D is just taking forever to grow. To oh, we get to appoint a governor now. Okay. With its changing empires that rose and fell. And you can foresee the future too. Hmm. Interesting choices. I think we're going to go with Raina, the financier. She seems like she might be a good one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and appoint her to Dundee because we could use something to help us out over there. Look back over the past with its chin. All right, we've got early empire now. Hmm. I think we're going to go with the uh, plus one production for now in the cities. Plus two loyalty for cities with a garrison unit, and both of my cities have garrison units, so that'll be helpful. Choose a new civic. Drama and poetry. We need to start getting some culture going so I can get these cities to grow a little faster. And I need to build another settler because um, I need a third city. I just feel like, man, it's 2160 BC and I should probably have another city by now. Let's take a look and see where we're at on... Oh, no, don't wake up. I'm purchasing new items. Uh, new settler would be 440. That's crazy. You know what I need is a builder, and we're not quite there yet, so I guess we do nothing. I need to b get a builder so I can do some improvements to Dundee so we can grow that city a little faster. We're working on a wonder, and we are three turns away from completing Hanging Gardens. I just got to hope somebody else doesn't complete it in the meantime. Uh, can we finish it? Now, I guess we'll just kind of hang tight and hope nobody else completes a hanging garden in the next couple of turns. No oh, it looks like Spain. Yep. Ah. Hola. King of Spain. It is an honor to meet you, Philip II. I think that's the... Is that the Philip that was married to Queen Mary I? Um, yeah. All right. So we've met the Spanish Empire now, so we know that the Hungarians, the Australians, and the Spanish are three of the other ones. Don't know who the other four are yet, because it was all random, so I didn't select those. Alright, so he's offering me three gold plus one more gold per turn for open borders. I'm fine with that. May the Lord bless you, and you as well, sir. So we're on good terms with all of our potential foes. Ancient Era ends in ten turns. Okay. Comes another barbarian. Not too worried about the him. Ascent to the highest stories by yes, stairs. hanging and gardens of Babylon have been completed here in Scotland. Persons appointed expressly for the purpose are continually employed. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world into the garden. Beautiful. So we've got ourselves a wonder. 
I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Um, archery, bronze work, and currency, masonry, sailing. Sailing doesn't do me a lot of good because I don't have any navy here. Um, archery it is. Choose production. We need another settler in the worst way. Uh, once I do that, I'll probably do a builder in Dundee once they're completed in the next three turns. Here comes our trader coming back. You can see the road developing. All right, let's continue to explore. Valladolid. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, Spain. I think that's the city where uh, Christopher Columbus is buried. Although some people say he's buried in the New World. Um, okay, what do we want to build next? I need a builder in Dundee. That's what I said I was going to do. Oh, here come the barbar barbarians again. I love the little drum beat whenever the barbarians are near. At last, uh, at last, rain has arrived to alleviate the suffering from the major drought. Already, our crops are recovering, and the Pex drought is now a footnote of the historical record. I'm thinking maybe our next settler goes up here. I don't know. Got a lot of gold available right now, but I'll probably use some of that once I found my next city to build a, a defensive unit in that city. So we're up to 1720 BC. Scottish Empire makes history. Let others say what they will, but the real flourishing of classical era culture began with the discovery of drama and poetry by Scotland. Yes, sir. All we have discovered drama stage, and poetry. And all the men and women merely players. My daughter, who's an actress, would approve of that. Um, okay, so... Is there any changes we want to make here? I don't think so. I think we're going to go back to... Uh, the plus one faith in gold. Now we can choose a new civic. Theology, yes. And choose production. Holy site, campus, or theater square. So our choices here, uh, holy site obviously is going to create faith and get me toward a great prophet. Uh, campus is going to create science and get me toward a great scientist. Theater Square, uh, great writer, great artist, great musician, and culture. Um, I want to wait a second on that because I want to look at the world rankings. See, culture, I'm actually in second place. Science, I'm not doing as well. Religious victory, I'm doing pretty well. So, man, I I'm a little torn here. I think I'm going to go with Holy Site first and then maybe go to campus. And what are our options here? I need. I want to use the area that has the, the least amount of production. So it's going to hurt me the least as far as building goes. Hmm. I think we're going to put it out here. Kind of expand the city a little bit. Unit needs orders. What is that? Just my. Oh, that's my settler. Okay. Where can we settle? So that would give us something on the ocean. Maybe that's the way we want to go here. Go on the other side of Dundee. We're about to hit the next era. Ancient era ends in one turn. Oh, your delegation is most welcome, Philip. Thank you. We're going to continue to just stay friendly with everyone as best we can. As we enter the next era of civilization. The world enters the classical era. 1600 BC. Aspire to be worthy or example to the rest of the world. Your people will love you if you lead them to glory. May Thank you, Philip. the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. George Carlin said that? Hmm. Interesting. All right, we've got a builder. 
let's start building. This will help Dundee out quite a bit. All right, we're going to make a dedication to guide our people toward the desired future. You are in the Dark Age during this game era. Each of your citizens exerts half a loyalty. Okay, so. Free inquiry. Pen, brush, and voice. Monumental dedication bonus. Exodus of the Evangelists. Uh, pen, brush, and voice it is. Bronze working. Okay. So where are we going next? We're about to found our third city. I think we're going to go campus here. Get some science going. Um, right there. Yep. So because Civilization is a turn-based game and it's a little slower, I'm making these episodes a bit longer. That seems to be what most folks are doing on YouTube, so I'm kind of doing the same. So we'll play a bit longer before we finish up the first episode here. Uh, what's our builder up to? Let's get over here and build a plantation. Oh, get away from me, you barbarian. All right, plantation built. We're going to get over here and build this settlement, and then we're going to definitely want to... Oh, boy. Okay, we got to be careful of this guy here. Oh, these guys are going to attack him, I think. Oh, okay, he's running away. He's not going to worry about my settlers for now. Found a city, Haddington. Choose production. Hmm. Guess we'll start working on a theater square, theater district, and uh, we're going to want to purchase an item with gold, and that item is going to be a warrior just to protect that settlement. And we've got one more thing we can do with our builder. Let's go ahead and build another farm. I believe they get three buildings and then they disappear. Yep. Yep, fortify you. Haddington needs more housing. Yes, I know. Our first district completed. So we've got our holy district over here. We can pr do more produ production now. A shrine. Hmm. I could maybe go with another settler, but I think we'll wait. Let's go with a shrine. It only takes five turns. We're up to 1360 BC now. I often wonder why you say so little. I believe you've not... Hey, dude, come on. Math Matthias, that was not very kind of you. All right, looks like we've gone downhill a little bit with him. We're not on friendly terms anymore. Um, oh, we've got a trader, so... Let's go ahead and get our trader going. We're going to actually start sending him to... Um, No, no, no. Uh, looks like Sterling maybe is the way to go. Right now, all oh, Nazca's still really good though. Get a lot of gold and some faith as well. But I think we're going to start working on a trade route to Sterling now, so we can start building that road between the two. It'll help me move units faster when necessary. I 
I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy. Because bronze will last for thousands of years. Okay, th cool, thank you. Um, let's look at the technology tree for a minute here. Sailing is the only one of the very early technologies I don't have yet. Even though it doesn't necessarily help me a whole lot right now. But I do have a, a city on, on the ocean now. I'm assuming that's the ocean. I don't know that for sure. Anyway, we got to get back to getting on good terms with Matthias here, the Hungarians. I guess we'll wait until after we choose our production in Sterling. Yeah, let's go with the science campus. Yeah, we'll go right there. Now, back to Matthias. All right, so we're neutral. Let's see if we can do a little better. Declare friendship. King must choose his friends with great caution. It is not time for me to call you that. Okay, well, that's not nice. How about send a delegation? Let's try to get a little friend friendlier. I guess that didn't do a whole lot. No gossip. All right, I guess we're done for now. Hey, it's Gandhi. I am Mohandas Gandhi. My people call me Babu. So I guess India is one of the other nations out there that we just ran into. It is an honor to meet you, Gandhi. All right, so now let's take a look at our world rankings. Dead last in science, that's got to change. I do not like that. I usually pride myself on being up on science. We're going to have to start working on some buildings that will help with that. Third place in culture, seventh in domination, fourth in religion, and fifth in diplomatic. Okay, that's we, we've got to work on that. All of it. All right, so we're getting a deal from Matthias. If I give him citrus for 30 turns, he gives me 30 gold plus 4 gold per turn plus... What is that? I don't know, but I'm going to take it. That seems like a pretty good deal. Plus it makes us friends again, hopefully. Well, maybe not. But the gold's really helpful. I'm making 16 gold a turn right now. We've got to get faith going a little better. So Catholicism was founded by Hungary. Hinduism, those are the only two that have been founded so far. I want to look at kind of the strategy view here and get a sense of, of things. So all the way up in here is Spain. There's Delhi, so there's India right there. Uh, we've got Fez, which is a city-state. Australia is over in this section here. Hungary's right here. We're down here. So we're kind of on the southern end of the map. And we know nothing about anything to the east of us. So we could look at the yield icons, mountain range labels. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull that up. So there's an even further out view of everything. Okay, we've got our campus. What can we build next? An archer or a spearman? Hmm. I think we're going to go with another settler in Dundee. Let's get things expanded a little more. Ah, didn't want to do that. Just want to turn off map options. Rumor has it Spain has founded a new religion, Eastern Orthodoxy. Interesting. We're working on the science campus in Sterling right now. Sterling's up to a level 5 city. Natural disaster occurring. Withering drought. Ouch. Not we much I can no do about that. There's theology. Religious thinking without theology. Hmm. Inquisition. <laughs> no, I don't think we'll do that. No one likes it. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. 
two great profit points for turn. No, we can't do any of that right now. Alright, we're going to go with the bonus to gold from trade routes. Choose Civic. Crafting Strip's the only one we got left. We're going to send an envoy. Where are we going to send? Oh, Fez. We don't have one in Fez yet. Let's do that. Oh, somebody's attacking our scout. Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. Wise words from Benjamin Franklin. Okay. Masonry. That looks good. Let's do that. Let's get our scout out of here. The Carpathian Mountains. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. All right. I think we're going to sit tight on everything for now. Oh, we do have some new military policies available. No, we're just going to keep keep what we've got right now. State workforce allows a government plaza or military tradition. State workforce it is. Your delegate Edmund learned that Hungary has switched governments to oligarchy and that they've received a foreign delegation. It appears it came from Scythia. So that must be one of the other folks out there we don't know about. All right, what do you got for me, Australia? So in return for this thing that I'm receiving from Hungary, you're going to offer me iron, eight gold, and one gold for 30 turns. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. So right now we're gaining 17 gold a turn, and I've got 347 available. So um, that's really good, and that should that gives me some freedom to maybe purchase some things that I need. Let's see what's available to purchase. We could get another builder. In Dundee, we could buy a number of different things. Or in Haddington, you know what? We could probably use that granary. So let's go ahead and buy one. Said they received a foreign delegation from Hungary. Okay. All right. So what are they recommending? They're re recommending Oracle or Temple. Let's go with the Temple in Sterling. Oh, now we got a deal coming from Gandhi. He's going to offer me horses and gold for open borders. Yes, please. Feel free to roam my borders, man. That's just like like giving me free stuff. Once I grow these two cities, we're going to actually close strong, these borders. Well educated. Yeah. We got to change our government so that we can get these new policies available to us. I don't know if I have the ability to do that yet. So we're still a chiefdom. How do we go about changing? All right, I need political uh, philosophy civic. So there it is. All right, that's going to allow us to change things. We can appoint another governor, or we can promote our existing governor. Hmm, decisions. I think we will go with in Sterling we're going to appoint the kind of the religious one that we have going here. Appoint the cardinal in Sterling because we got a lot of religious things already in Sterling. There's no shame in deterrence. Having a weapon is very different from actually using it. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll do a few more turns here. I think maybe we'll take this up to 
zero BC when we get into AD or CE, whatever it calls it now. And that'll be a good place to stop. All right, so Hungary's offering me 43 gold. And I don't know what that is, but because uh, it's not telling me what it is. Oh, it's diplomatic favor uh, in exchange for open borders. Yes, thank you. Five gold for one diplomatic favor, which I just got from Hungary. Um, whew, that doesn't seem like a lot, really. Because I've only got just the one diplomatic favor, and you've already got 12. So, uh, you know what? How about... We're going to say no. I'm sorry, Philip. Trying to be friendly with everybody, but I just can't accept that one. When wasteful war shall statues overturn... And broils root out the work of masonry. Okay. The wheel. Man, we're a little late on inventing the wheel. It's 825 BC. We got a violent storm. A tornado family named Duarte has developed and is headed to the northeast. The storm will cause destruction over the next two turns. All right. I think we're okay. Hungary is trading with Australia. That's fine. Hey, be friendly with everybody. Our campus in Sterling was pillaged by the barbarians. Not cool. All right, that's not going real incredibly well right now. I've sent a trade delegation to you with gifts from our land. Teas, saris, and sitars. We're going to play a little music with the sitar. Thank you. Awesome. Spain is trading with Hungary. That's cool. Oh, get away from my plantation. That's going to be a major defeat. That's... Ugh. Oh, we got to do it. All right, at least we get promotion, which is going to get them leveled back up a little bit. Storm petered out. District planners have worked out the basics of geometry. Maybe a full mathematical system will follow soon. Excellent. Promotion available. Yes, battle cry. Oh, man, that was desperately needed. Haddington can build an amphitheater. Ancient walls, that's huge. Let's get those walls going. Need two more amenities to keep Sterling productive. Okay. River flooding prevented. All right, we're in 750 BC now. Got to get enough growth here to where we connect these cities. Have a solid border all the way across. There's a new settler. Where can we go? Um, man, that seems awful far south down there. It's probably the way to go, though. Dundee. Uh, Oracle. Man, 38 turns. That's a long time. Let's go with walls. That's right. Get out of my territory. Let's continue to go after him, finish him off. Excellent. We're going to want to send them back then after that. Hungary is expanding. They've added a new settlement. Oh, ouch. He's got... Oh, uh, man. Politics is the art of the possible. The attainment. Government unlocked. Excellent. Classical Republic. Autocracy. All right. Classical Republic it is. 
Scotland adopts the government by classical republic, leading to a new political age for the citizens. Excellent. Okay. So now we can do another economic policy. All right. We get a diplomatic policy. First envoy you send to each city state counts as two. And great writer or great great scientist points, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Yes, thank you. Oh man, my warrior's in trouble. Alright, we're gonna need a more upgraded unit. Spearman, archer. Yeah, archer it is. I'm going to get those archers out there and t take on these guys. Actually, I think we'll just keep them right where they are for now. Recorded history. Seems appropriate. Yeah, there goes my warrior. Sometimes the wheel turns slowly. But it turns. Oh, we get a quote from Lorne Michaels, who started Saturday Night Live. All right. Let's look at the technology tree for just a minute here. See where we are. We're on turn 90. Yeah, let's go with currency. That one's boosted already. We've got to repair our campus. And we're going to build a new city. Hmm. Government Plaza it is. In the meantime, let's deal with these punks. That's right. What now? Get out of my territory, dude. Got him. Nice. Six twenty five BC. Yeah, we repaired our campus. We got another one that needs repaired too, though. Right, let's get walls. It's our capital. Needs to have walls. So we're going about 25 years each turn now. So at that rate, if it stays this way, we should have, what, uh, 24 more turns until 0 AD. We get to send an envoy. Mexico City. All right. What are you offering me now, Hungary? Uh, man, you want you want five diplomatic favor in return for iron, horses, and 15 gold. How about we make it three? Okay, I'll accept it. Now he wants the iron and horses I just traded for. No, Philip, your offer for your deals have been terrible lately, dude. Philip is trying to rip me off. What's Australia got? Horses for diplomatic favor. Um, how about... Nah. I wanted some gold. I don't have a defensive unit in IR right now. And I really think I need one. It's going to be a while before I can build one. But as long as nobody, like no barbarians are threatening, threatening, like right at my doorstep, I guess I won't worry about it too much. Completing walls around your city demonstrated the principles of engineering needed for aqueducts and catapults. Okay. So we can build a holy site. I think we already have all oh, this is Dundee. 
Oracle, Pyramids, nah. Let's go with Archers there. Our city can perform a ranged attack. Yes, please. I guess it doesn't necessarily need the archers in that case. Let's see what's going on over here. Barbarians approach. Scottish Empire makes history. Many dispute the actual start of the classical era. But you know it was when Scotland discovered currency. Wealth yes, consists sir. not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. All right, cool. Choose research. Hmm. Mathematics. Choose production. Do we want another settler? How about a library? So Haddington and Dundee are finally connected. Okay. We're up to 475 BC now. Amphitheater, monument. Haddington doesn't even have a monument yet? All right. How about a traitor? There we go. Nice. They pillaged my district, though. All right, we're on to 425 BC. We're getting there. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. Pretty wise words from Napoleon. That's definitely true. All right, so what do we have now that's available to us? Charismatic leader, plus two influence points per turn towards earning city-state envoys. Governors provide plus two loyalty per turn to their city. Let's go with that for a little while. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're good. Games and recreation. Oh, we have a new governor. Or promotion of the existing ones. Let's promote the cardinal. Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, let's go with that. Finish these guys off. Nice. All right, once this turn's complete, we're at 400 BC. I want to see where the world rankings are. Let's go ahead and take a look. Man, I'm in seventh in science, sixth in culture, last in domination, seventh in religion, and fifth in diplomatic. Man. Usually when I play civilization, I'm usually ranked higher than that. Opposite I don't like that at all. It's high Natural rise. wonder discovered. Where are hot springs and a plutonium, both of which have some singular properties. The water of the springs is so easily consolidated and becomes stone that if it is conducted through water courses, dams are formed consisting of a single piece of stone. All right. Three seventy five BC. Completed an archer. Man, we really got to start focusing on growth because it's not going real well right now. Let's get a theater square going. Let's get over here and deal with these guys.
Ah, uh, boy. Repair the campus. Unmet city-state has been defeated. Finish that guy off. Yes. All right, we've got one more turn till the government plaza is complete. Oh man, that was brutal. Commercial hub. Hmm. Library? Yeah, let's go with library for now. Ancient walls. Oh, another governor tile. Send that guy to Haddington. All right, what are you offering me here? All right, I'll take the money. Finally, something Philip offered that I'll take. We've got some nice choices now. We'll start gaining Catholicism if we connect with these guys. It's not a bad thing, I don't think. We're going to connect with our own for now, though. I'm going to get another builder going. Nice. 275 BC. All right, what do you got for me, Gandhi? 14 you want in exchange for 4 gold for 30 turns. Um... How about we say 10? Mm. All right, sure. Now this guy's just going to come this way and get bombarded from me there. Promotion available. Finish him. That's right. 250 BC. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Thank you, Galileo. All right, let's see. Choose research. We need iron working. All right, let's take a look at world rankings here. All right, we're moving up a little bit on a couple of things, but dang. Okay, got a lot of work to do. Let's fortify the archers. What can we buy? I need to get another builder going. Oh, yeah, that's right. We'll have to deal with climate change later in the game. I'm kind of surrounded by India right now. Not really anywhere I can go. 
They've closed their borders to me. We're going to have to get open borders to get him out of there. There we go. Now we'll be able to get him through. All right, here's our builder. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's build a build a quarry over there. Get that gypsum. Library. If bread is the first necessity of life, recreate. You're a close second. Yep. All right, let's do that. Gonna keep on working on everything else the way they are. Choose civic, defensive tactics, choose production. All right, we're gonna go for the great library. I guess we'll put it right there. Now, great library used to give you an automatic free uh, research, but I'm not sure if that's still the case or not. Let's get that monument. All right, our builder is going to build a quarry right there. This builder Can build a mine. Okay, we're at 150 BC. We're just about to the next phase here. Classical era ends in 10 turns. Okay. These guys are making me nervous out here. Major river flooding. Okay, I'm not too worried about that right now. Okay. Entertainment complex. Oracle, no. Petra, 30 turns. Entertainment complex, it is. We'll go right there. What else can we build? Let's get over here and build a mine. Farm over here. All right, we've got just a couple of turns left. Let's see where we are now. Man, still just not doing well. I'm gonna have to study up and see what I need to do better. Going. 
Gentle volcanic eruption. I'm not too worried about gentle ones. Air is not producing enough food. Okay. We're going to have to get them a, a builder down there to help produce some farms. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. Only gaining three and a half gold per turn right now. All right, that helps. Now we're up to a more substantial amount of gold per turn. The Lord made us all out of iron. Then he turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel. Yes, okay. Claim great person. Excellent. All right. Got a great scientist. Excellent. I'm going to build the amphitheater there. Oracle, that'll take forever there. I don't think so. All right, we're going to move the builder down here so we can help these guys out. There's our great scientist. Ah, uh, boy. I guess we're just going to hang tight right where they are for now. All right, we are in 1 AD. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Man, I got a lot of work to do. I'm really far behind on everything. I may need to start cranking out the military units and maybe go after one of these city-states like Nazca. So we'll stop right there. Let me know your thoughts. I have not played this game for quite some time, but uh, used to be pretty good at it back in the day. Seems like I got a lot of work to do to start working on where I'm at, though, because I'm at fourth in science, but I'm pretty far behind on just about everything else. So... Uh, let me know your thoughts, and if you want to see more from this series, or if it's something you're kind of indifferent toward. If, if it's pretty popular and seems like it's getting a lot of views, a lot of likes, then I'll probably do it every couple of days. If not, maybe like once a week or so. Uh, use that comment section below to tell me your thoughts, and we will see you again with another episode sometime later on this week. Thanks for watching.